Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Emma and here we talk about motherhood, homeschool and lifestyle. And today I want to give you a flip through our writing program, Writing with Ease. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I want to show you our writing program. This is Writing with Ease by Susan Wise Power. Okay, this is workbook level one. And the reason why I decided to go with this program is because it's very structured. It has as well go with narration and this does something that will benefit well my child. In here it says complete writer level one workbook for writing with ease. And in here we have the contents and if you would like you can just pause and screenshot okay and it gives you week one okay, week two week three and it tells you how many weeks which is a 36 week program okay and here it gives you the reading selections and I will just go slow moving the book so you can pause and screenshot if you would like to do that okay and this is how it looks the lessons this is week one day one the first copy work exercise and it says focus beginning capitals and ending periods it says pull out student page one write the student's name and the date for him as he watches or ask him to write the name and date independently. The following two model sentences are already printed on it. There were no roads. The deer and the rabbits will be shy and swift. Okay, and in here it gives some instructions. Ask the student to look carefully at the sentences. While he is examining the sentences, sentences sorry explain that these sentences are from the first chapter of little house in the big woods by laura ingalls Wilder. little house is about a family that lives in wisconsin in the 1860s in a deep forest where few others lived ask the student to point out the capital letters that begin the sentences and the periods that end them Tell him that both of these are complete sentences. So as, as you can see, it gives you instructions on what to tell your child in order to be given the lesson, okay? Choose whichever sentence is appropriate to the student's handwriting ability and ask the student to copy, to copy it on the lines provided. Watch the students. If he begins to make an error, gently stop him and ask him to look at the model again. Always allow him to erase errors in order to correct them. Remember that it is not necessary to copy both sentences. A shorter and longer option, sorry, are provided because the fine motor skills of very young writers span a wide range of development. Okay, so that's how it goes. And then and here we have day two, the first narration exercise. Okay, sorry that I moved the camera. And you're gonna pull out a student page two. Write the student's name and the date for him as he watches or ask him to write the name and date independently. Read the following passage out loud to the student. So the student page will be at the back. So the first half of the book will be the parents or teacher manual. And then the second part, the other half of the book will be the student's pages, okay? So as you can see, and it gives you instruction on photocopying and distribution policy. And you can pause and screenshot, because I'm trying not to make this video so long, I'm sorry. Here how it looks the page for week one. There were no rows, the deer and the rabbits will be shy and swift, okay? And then we have week one, day two, Little House in the Big Woods by Laura Ingalls. What is one thing you remember about the pas the passage? And the student will write it here. And if, if you notice, it has some pictures here for your kids to, to look. See, very pretty. Then we have week one, day three. Pat on a pig. There was plenty of fresh meat 
to last for a long time and they have to write there. See, that will be the copy work. Just right there, it says there what you have to do. It says on the top part, the week, the day, and the narration. If it's narration, if it's going to be, as you can see here, copy work. And that's day three. Then we have day four, narration again. And another picture there. Then we have copy work. That's a week two, day one. Sorry that I moved the camera again. And here's another image. Week two, day two, narration. And if you notice, that's how it goes. It goes through narration, copy work, narration, and copy work. That's what it says on day two. And then we have the short story, okay? Put it here, once upon a time. 60 years ago, a little girl lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little gray house made of locks, and it gives you the story. It tells you the author, okay? And in here, if you notice, it gives instruction to the parent or the instructor. Again, it says, ask the following questions. Remind the student to answer you in complete sentences. If he answers in a fragment, turn the fragment into a complete sentence. Say it to him and then ask him to repeat this sentence back to you. If he cannot answer a question, read him the part of the passage that contains the answer and then ask the question again. If you notice, and that's something I like as well, it gives you an option in case they cannot do the work. It gives you an instruction to help them out to move from that area where they're not, where they are having probably a little bit of issues or trouble getting through. So I like that as well. I like that it has instructions, what you have to say. For me that I speak Spanish, I speak two languages, the fact that it has instructions that it kind of holds my hand through the process, I think it's very helpful for somebody that has a that is a little bit afraid of teaching their child or somebody that speaks two languages just as I do. I think this is very helpful. I do like uh, programs or curriculums that has the instructions for you to tell your child, to be able to help your child the best way you can. That's what you want. How many years ago does this story happen? And that's the instructor. And then you have the part where it tells you what you should expect from the student. This story happened 60 years ago. If necessary, you can explain to the student that this book was written in the 1920s. When Laura Ingalls was writing this first chapter, her childhood in the 1860s was 60 years ago. Now, we will say that the story happened almost 150 years ago and it keeps give, giving instructions to the parent or the instructor. And that is something that is very helpful and it's always going to be, as you notice, it will let you know from the beginning in what day you are currently from that week, if it's copy work or narration, it gives you beginning capitals and ending periods, so it, so it tells you where to focus that day. And it gives you the, the sentences that they have to be working with. And it gives, you the, it gives you the choice of choosing, depends on the level of uh, development from your child, which sentence you think will be helpful for them to do. Do you think your child can do the longest one? Which is here, sorry or if your child can do the shortest one. So you will just pick and choose whatever you think that will be helpful for your child. If your child is not that much on writing, well, you can just go to the short one, but at least they are practicing, which is what you want. So in here it talks about the proper nouns and narration exercise for day two. And it gives you instructions again, and here are instructions for the instructor as well, again. And it gives you instructions on what to do in detail. And that's something, as I said, that I like a lot. The reason that I purchased as well this program is because we are studying with grammar. And this book will relate with the book that I purchased before, which is uh, Language Lessons, First Language Lessons. And I'm going to explain later on, after I do the flip through the pages for First Language Lessons, 
how I'm going to use this, okay? And the reason why I decide to go with both of them. If there's a reason about it, and some one of that reason is that, as I said, it has good explanations for the instructor to give the student. And it has, as I say, has the day one of week two copy work, focus capitalizing first proper, na proper names, sorry. And it's a really good program. I think it is a really good program. And if your child has a little bit of problem with reading and comprehension while he's working on that, the fact that he has narration, my son doesn't do that well with reading and comprehension, but he does very good with narration. So I think this program will help him with that while we work on those other areas that he needs a little bit more help. Okay. So let me just go past the pages. We are on week three. This is how it looks. And see if you see, if you notice it's increasing the sentences and the words. We're about week six. This is how it looks. And it's, you can notice it goes like that in between copy work and narration. And I think this is a good exercise for your kid to practice to copy work and narration and, ha and know about the proper names and the nouns, proper nouns, to know capital letters, that, how to start writing and, and having capital letters. Here you have week 14. It has poetry. Here, week 16, and here they're co doing copy work capitalizing days of the week and month of the year. And this is very helpful too, to keep practicing with your child. We are on week 18. I'm sorry that I'm going really quick, but I don't want this video to take too long, as I said. And in here we have the pages for the student. Let me just show here. Some have images there. They can see what they are writing. Instructor and student. And here we have a week four, day four, narration and copy work. So in here they will be doing both. But here, if you see, it says from Alice Adventures in Wonderland, but Wonderland, sorry, by Lewis Carroll. What is one thing you remember about the passage? And then it has instructors and students. So the instructor is gonna write that passage in here and then the student will copy that okay so this is how it looks for the student song This is a very simple book, yet I think it will work excellent with my child. Narration and evaluation. If you would like to detach these pages, you can. It has a place where you can just detach the page. And if you want to 
place this in a different binder or if your son has a this bound binder which is what my son uses and I will show that later on they can place it there and and they can just make it comfortable for them because sometimes having it there attached to the spine is kind of complicated for them to write so having them in a different place where they can actually remove the page if it's easier for them is helpful so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.